Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalie back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and light, and love and blessings, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, please like and subscribe, even hit the notification bell so you know I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you resonate with my video, please give me a big thumbs up, like, and even share. That would be greatly appreciated. And if you feel comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. That would be also appreciated. Also, if you feel comfortable and want to go ahead and, you know, tell your experience about whatever I'm talking about in my videos. Or if you want to drop your opinion about that, that would be greatly appreciated. I'd love to get the positive feedback. And thank you so much for the support and coming to see about my channel today. And for my returning subs, thank you so much for the love and support. Much love to you, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And thank you once again for the love and support. Today my video is about Twin Flame 101, I Hate Oka Experience. Don't lose yourself to find yourself. And today I am listening to... Um, this is the Hayoka Meditation uh, by Mana Loranos. Lo yeah, Mana Loranos. Lo I'll go ahead and um, put that in the description link down below in case anybody would like to meditate to that. But yes, we gotta lose ourselves to find ourselves. It's just going on this journey <clears throat> and learning. And knowing how deep my my adoption went, how deep things really got, on the reason why things happened the way they happened. I lost family members. I stopped talking to them. You know, I lost friends that I thought that would be around forever. You know, people that I called my sisters, my brothers. You know what I'm saying? But it was like, you know, when you go on a journey, not everybody's going to be in that. You know, start off with that journey. Not everybody's going to end that journey with you. So it's just like when I always, you know, when I try to meditate, you know, <laughs> as, you know, as for strength and protection or whatever on this journey, because we don't know where it's taking us. You never know. And it's like doing my videos, you know, finding the motivation and inspiration for that, you know, telling the experiences that I went through, especially, you know, finding out about myself and being Hayoka and all this other stuff. And I'm just like, God, dog. You know, I don't want to feel like a hyper, a spiritual hypochondriac, like, oh, this is me, oh, this is me. But it's crazy when when you can relate to indigos, you can relate to regular empaths, you can, you know, you have a twin flame, and you're a star seed or a crystal, you know, and it just seems like we all go through our things trying to help the world to make it a better place, because it's just like... You know, how can you believe in God and not believe in the devil with all the stuff that's going around? You know, I just got a link today showing me about, showing me there was a shooting in, uh, where, where was it? At Concord, California. There was a shooting today, or whenever it was. Um, I'm not sure when it was, but they were in Dave and Buster's. And people are crawling up under tables and stuff like that. And it's just like, going through my experience, it seemed like I have attracted a lot of nice people. A lot of, you know, spiritual people that are on the level, you know, especially the people who are watching my videos. But I've also met narcissistic people, people that you just like, did you just say that to me? Or did you, why'd you just do that? That's just so hurtful. Or just, that's just so mean, you know? And it's just like, why do we, why do we attract people like that? And it's just like, we have to stand our ground. And it, it's just like, we have our weaknesses and then you can just sit up here and say, you know, I've made it through this, you know, I've conquered this, but it always has that test that always bring back just to make sure, okay, you say this, I'm going to see if you can talk to walk, you know, walk the talk talk to walk whatever and it's just going through that you know in that journey and have to you know be faced with that ugly truth you know that mirror that something I, I was not aware to see you know that veil has came off you know and it's just like all these memories are coming back back from my childhood back from when I was growing up incidents that I didn't even really think that was relevant to me that now I have to face. And I mean, especially with these eclipses came through, you know, my emotions have been all over the place. 
And it's like trying to do that and being grateful for all the mishaps and the failures, setbacks or whatever. I had to be grateful for all those things. So losing myself to actually find out the true person I really was meant to be by helping people, you know, helping people find out more about themselves, learning more about themselves, while I'm helping myself learn, too, on the same page. Because maybe there's other people, there is other people out there that almost have the similar stories that I have, you know. Or, you know, I, I see some of my friends either on Facebook that has the same kind of luck I do. I'm like, God, dog, you don't get a break either. And they're not recognizing they're going through awakening or they're going through an ascension. But it's just when you have to lose yourself, sometimes when you feel like things cannot get worse, they're actually coming together for you. And I always have to tell myself that it just seems like things were coming back to back to back. Things were presented to me. And it could be the, the people that you thought was really close to you showing their true faces. And it's just like you needed to see that, even though it could be the most hurtful thing. You needed to see that because you need to be able to, you know, see that person for who they truly are, see them for who they truly are and accept them for that and, you know, make it for what it's worth and just keep moving. And I had to keep telling myself that. And it's just like I might miss, you know, certain experiences with these people, but I'm like, you know, I'm not going to open that door. You know, God took them out of my life for a reason. You know, I'm on this path for a reason. You, they're placing they're taking other people you know the universe is taking other people out my lives and put out my life and adding other people in it and I'm just blessed to have both of them the ones that left and the ones that are coming in and it's just a blessing when you can see more subscribers coming in more people that are more comfortable enough to open up to me and don't even know me and I appreciate everything that you you're telling me and your your you know your experiences that you're you know, you went through, and I, I don't judge anybody for what they went through. Unless you're hurting a child or an elderly person, you know, then, you know, I don't, other than that, I don't judge when it comes to stuff like that. But anything is worth a positive note that you're trying to bring into a positive light, hey, I'm all for it. So, um, this week coming up should not be so crazy, so I can start going ahead, um, and working on my Facebook, on the new Facebook, uh, page for hey opens and anybody else that's you know going through things like if they're indigo or they're a star seed or they're a crystal just for them to join the page and be able to you know watch videos and you know discuss the things that they go through discuss the issues and questions and concerns they got about themselves i want to be able to do that you know if anything is just like you know links that can you know help us out and be able to know more about ourselves because it's just like more and more of us are starting to come out you know, they didn't know this is what this was. I didn't even know what this was. So it's just a blessing to actually know these things and just to be able to, you know, feel myself falling apart, feel myself break, but be able to mold myself into the person that I want to be. You know, it's just like my family altered my life. You know, they lied about my life. Now it's my time to be able to be the person I want to be. It's not like I forgot where I came from, but I feel like, my past has, you know, it has taught me a lot of things, but anything related to Rosalind has had pain, had sorrow, you know, despair. So it's just like when I get to that point, you know, I want to be able to reinvent myself. You know what I'm saying? It's just like I never forgot all the, you know, repossessions, food stamps, Section 8 or whatever, and then be able to do the things that I'm able to do now. You know, because I lived that life. I had that struggle, you know, but I'm also on a hustle, too. And it's just like when you're on a hustle and you're going to have setbacks and stuff like that, you keep going. You might need to take a break for a minute, but you keep going because that's you finding yourself. That gives you that inner drive, that inner strength to be able to keep going. And I had to keep telling myself that you keep going. If you need to go ahead and take a break, you know, no is the next opportunity. I always say that no is never no. No is the next opportunity. They tell you no. You tell you go to somebody until they tell you yes. You know, you keep moving. You keep going on your journey. But you don't give up. That's you finding yourself. You finding the truth about yourself. Knowing the knowledge that you needed to seek. Help people along the way while you're healing yourself. Find that strength. Find that drive. Find that passion on the things that you need to do. 
but I'm not trying to hold you up today. I hope you enjoyed the video that you're watching. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. You can hit the notification bell. If you feel comfortable, go ahead and drop me a line or two. It would be greatly appreciated. And give me a thumbs up and share my video if you feel free. And I will see you on the next video. I'm sending my prayers out um, if this did happen. But even if it doesn't, you know, uh, I got it on the Facebook link. Um, about those the shooting in uh, Dave and Buster's in Concord, California. I would like to send my prayers out to them and hope and pray. You know, I haven't heard anything else about it because I haven't really been watching TV today. I've been laying down resting with my daughter. So um, I've been jumping in from YouTube and dropping on certain people's uh, channels and stuff and showing my love and support. So if I haven't got to you yet, please forgive me. But the night is not over with and I will see you later. And thank you so much for the love and support. I will keep you in my prayers and hope you do the same for me. Much love. Peace and be wild.